Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. <sighs> you hear that? Trill of the birds, the babbling brook, the rustling of the ivy trellises. <sighs> so relaxing. That's because we're in the botanical garden. And speaking of ivy, in this sketch, we'll be peacefully walking through a crucial component of patient care, IV fluid management. <sighs> You're in for a special treat, because today we've been invited to a gala, where, believe me, there'll be plenty of fluids for your enjoyment. <laughs> but before that, let's chat about scenarios for when you should order IV fluids. Seems like this pond right here is a popular spot for the waterfowl who want to chill in the botanical garden, but whew, uh, <laughs> sadly, looks like that's not the case for this feathery fella who's vomiting, naturally, to remind you to give IV fluids to patients who struggle to keep anything down due to uncontrolled nausea and vomiting. Poor duck, also dripping tons of sweat to remind you of dehydration, which occurs when you lose excess free water. In cases of severe dehydration, give IV fluids to your patient, especially if they also have electrolyte disturbances. While I'm not suspecting any foul play here, we did witness someone feeding the ducks earlier, which is a big no-no in the botanical garden, which reminds me, don't feed the ducks. And don't feed NPO patients that can't have anything by mouth due to an underlying medical or surgical reason like a bowel obstruction, acute pancreatitis, an ileus, or upcoming surgery. In these cases, order IV fluids instead for volume repletion. Your patients and the ducks will appreciate it. Last, but certainly not least, give IV fluids to patients who are volume depleted, represented here by these low pond levels. Judging by how fast the water went down, no wonder the duck was feeling a little nauseous. But not all the ducks are having a bad time. Aside from vomiting, bleeding, third spacing, and severe GI losses like diarrhea, in here by this happy duck bathing in quote-unquote mud, are other causes of hypovolemia that may require IV fluid therapy, 